Hey guys, today I want to share with you some information about how to enable the dead button in Golf Mark 7. And over here you can see that I've already have it moving. And not only that, but I can also check the signal over here with those wires. There's a connection to ground whenever I press the button. So how to do it? First, you will need to remove the button assembly from the car. This is a piece of the center console from Golf Mark 7. You can remove it from the car and to, to do it, uh, please check my video about installing rear USB ports. There's a, a tutorial about how to rem remove this from the car. But I believe that if you don't want to remove it, uh, you will also be able to do it um, with the piece installed in the car. If you just pull on the trim right over here, and remove the uh, leather piece from, uh, from the gear knob, you will be able to push it out, but first remove this plastic element over here. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six uh, clips, no, not clips, latches that you will need to release, and the center one is, is just a position pin. Okay, so when you have this removed, you can just push it out from underneath, disconnect the uh, connector and you will have it in your hands. Okay, so next you will you can remove the buttons. Right now I have them detached, so it, they will just fall out. Each button have three pins, three snap latches that you will have to release. One is over here on the inner side, closer to the gear, uh, gear knob, and two on the outer side. With those removed, you can also you can also remove this plastic cover from from the connector side six six latches i believe next you will have the electronic board looking like this we have some leds over here some electronic components the small led led is white background illumination and the bigger one is amber and it lights up only when function is active. So for the mode button the white one is always on and when you press the mode button you will have the amber one. Okay next you will have you will have this rubber part and it works both as the spring for the button and for the connection to uh, short the circuit to ground over here. So when you press on the button then this round thing over here will touch this and circuit will <coughs> be closed. Okay, and the most important thing are those two, those two things, those inserts. White one is for active button and the black one is for uh, dead button. Okay, so the, the black one has a little bit more plastic over here and the white one is a bit shorter in this section. This is because black one has no move and the white one is moving. Okay, so the easiest thing is to buy a donor part, take the white ones and install them in your button assembly. This is exactly what I have done over here. I took out the black one that was inside, put the white one inside and as you can see, now I can use this button for something. And I will most likely switch it to the to the uh, first button over here and make it work with my trunk. I will make it a trunk release and I'm planning to install a, an electronic electric tailgate in my Gold Mark 7, but that's for um, for for another episode. Okay, that's it for today. Just quick behind the scenes. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and check my other videos. Subscribe for future ones. See you soon.